is my old marking drill, this is my new marking drill. They're both absolutely awful. Uh, so today we need to make some sort of system to make marking tools more accessible. The Wood Knight is sponsored by I Would Like. I found a pine board to cut down and I hate working with pine and this is a good example of why. The pine board had so much internal tension that I could only get about 400mm into the cut and had to flip it because it just grabbed the blade too much. I could then take everything over to the miter saw and cut it to length. With the length done I could just do a few test cuts and then cut the dados or rabbits on the centre divider. It was a little bit taller so that the box would have somewhere to positively lock against. I didn't go all the way through the cuts and meant I just needed to snap off the uh, rabbit part and uh, plain cleaned it all up. I have a fair few rules for various purposes and I wanted an easy way to store them so using a piece of 12mm plywood I just cut a kerf for each ruler, it's about 6 in total, and spaced them about a centimetre apart. The only 12mm plywood I had left over was some of this uh, phenolic coated birch plywood, so I just cut that down into a few strips. I could then use the crosscut sled to cut that to length. The sizes aren't exact to any particular dimension, they just needed to fit fairly smoothly in the rails. Alright, so I've got pretty much what I want. Um, there needs to be some dividers actually in the drawer so that everything actually has a spot rather than just being thrown in. Uh, and I've got some 3mm MDF and 3mm plywood, they were packer pieces in the last delivery of plywood we got that they were just throwing out so we grabbed them. Uh, so the first step really is to glue up the box, the red part, uh, and the bottom piece will just get screwed on from underneath. Uh, the problem with the phenolic ply is you can't glue, it, it just doesn't stick to it. It's fantastic, you don't need to actually put a finish on this, but when you want to join things together it makes it a bit more difficult. So I could just screw through, I could use pocket screws, I could use dowels, I'm just going to use dominoes because it's easy for me, but if you are using regular plywood that doesn't have a finish on it, you could just easily glue that together and that would be fine. Or I could have done a little rabbit and that probably would have made more sense, but I forgot. So rather than cutting two new pieces, I'm just going to domino it and that's fairly straightforward for me. I've got to say I'm very surprised at how useful a hot glue gun with a battery is turning out to be. I really appreciate the speed at which it heats up as well as the little LED that tells me that it's actually ready to go. I use the hot glue to just hold down the ruler tray because honestly it doesn't need that much strength. After hot gluing down the ruler little caddy there. Uh, I've just chucked everything in here because it cleans up the workbench. Hot glued down some draw liner material. Uh, this is not particularly good stuff but it'll do the job. The little box. 
all I've done is screwed on the base and that's just screwed in from the bottom. That way if I change what gear I've got in here, it's easy to replace the whole bottom. So what I need to do now is make some little dividers so everything has a place. I took some very rough measurements using the object I wanted to store just so that I could take that over the table saw and get a piece that would sort of roughly fit. I really only cut small thin strips at the top table saw of the 6mm plywood. Then using a hand saw it was just quicker to cut down the pieces that way. It's much safer that way than using the table saw or band saw to do the same job. Because these won't see a lot of stress I just glued them in with some CA and activator. So this isn't entirely done just yet, perhaps I'll add a few other bits and pieces to hold this stuff down, maybe another piece of drawer liner, I still need to make another box, but this box can go on either rail. I thought I'd have to wax these, but they just glide nice and easily. It's not going to win any beauty awards, but it's super functional, might add another piece of plywood to build up around the tape, but otherwise this is all protected and easily accessible. And then when I'm at the bench I can take the whole drawer out. I've got all my tools that I use on every single project um, and when I'm working on the bench I actually have somewhere to place everything so everything can go back in be nice and safe so I don't knock it onto the concrete floor and ruin my square or something like that. This would be a really good project for a CNC to cut out the bottom panel but a lot of these tools for me do change over time. So I know I've got a new mechanical pencil on order. I might change a razor or whatever. So I don't know how much time it would be worth investing in to model the whole lot, then carve it out when a few little pieces of plywood and MDF did the job just fine. Thanks for watching.